kids, it's time for books. So cuddle up to mum or dad and let's rock and read. Today, I'll be reading you Not Quite Narwhal. And this is how it goes. Kelp was born deep in the ocean. He knew early on that he was different from the other narwhals. His tusk wasn't as long as everyone else's. He had different tastes in food. And he wasn't a very good swimmer. Looks more like a pony or something than a narwhal. But his friends didn't seem to mind. So Kelp decided he wouldn't either. That is, until we, he was swept away by a strong current. I wish I was a better swimmer. Kelp find himself, found himself at the surface, closer to land than he'd ever seen before. High up on a cliff, he spotted a mysterious sparkling creature. He looks so, it looks so familiar. It looked like kelp. Kelp swam towards land as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that he could catch up with the creature that looked just like him. When he finally, finally reached the shore, Kelp felt a little bit anxious. He never left the ocean. He was nervous about walking for the first time, for the land creatures made it look so easy. He took a long time to get to the shore, didn't he? A long time. It wasn't. No. Eventually, he got the hang of it. <laughs> He's copying the an other animals. <gasps> oh, that's cute. Everything on land was strange and beautiful, but also kind of scary. Kelp began to think he might never find the creature that looked like just, looked just like him. But as he but as he stumbled out of the forest, land owls actually were unicorns, and by the looks of it, so are you. Of unicorns before. They taught him all sorts of new things about his tusk. We call them horns. Wow. They introduced him to unicorn delicacies and they showed him how to gallop. There was no doubt that Kelp was in fact a unicorn. He was having so much fun that he didn't want to leave. And remember kids, remind mum and dad to subscribe so you can see all my books. But then he remembered all of his friends under the sea. Kelp missed them terribly. So he said goodbye to the unicorns and returned to the ocean. Come back soon. Kelp swam, to swam towards home as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all. Hoping that the Nile whales would still like him now that he was a unicorn. When he finally arrived, Kelp had butterflies in his stomach. Kelp, welcome home. Kelp took a deep breath and told him for his friends the news. It turns out I'm not a white and I will. Of course you aren't. I'm a unicorn. We all knew that. They took it quite well. Kelp was happy.
happy to be home. But now that he experienced his life on land with the unicorns, he couldn't seem to forget them. Do you want to be a land narwhal with the unicorns? Or sea unicorn with the animals? Kelp couldn't cl decide. But then he realised maybe... Just maybe... I wonder what he's thinking. He didn't have to choose. There's a lot of things going on here, isn't it? <laughs> well, thank you for joining me to read Not Quite Now. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.